Okay, good evening, everyone. Evaluate an expression clearly. When you are evaluating an expression, I told you first expand all compound assignment operators first. Right? Next, left to right, replace all variables and the method of calls, if any, okay? Method of calls with their values. Method of calls with their values. If any bracket is there, until variable in this bracket, until variable in, in this bracket is replaced with values, we must not replace the next variables, variables available right side. Right, this is the point very important. And then third step, what is the third step? Promote, promote, okay, or you can say like this. While operator is evaluating, promote, promote both operands to, or you can say promote lesser type to, high strange type used in this operator expression. Are you catching my point? Then evaluation should start. So these are the three points I told you. Now those are three points we have. Okay, and then tell me, here I have given you y equal to 1. I requested you to find output and count. I hope you already completed. Uh, tell me, oh, what is the output you got here? y plus 2, y plus plus minus y plus. What is the output you got here? Let me write one as for PLM. Control 1, compile, control 2. What are you getting? 4, 4. Result is 4. Result is 4. Y variable value also 4. Why 4, 4 coming? Earlier is 5, false 5, because the statement is there y not equal to minus 3. I mean, sorry, y minus equal to 3. y minus equal to 3 is there. Now, what is the output of the statement? 4, right? We have already evaluated the statement. Huh? No, I guess. Uh, can you tell me how you evaluated and how did you find output? Please, first. First step, what? You must have? Uh, first step, I just wanted to copy all these statements. I am placing that statement here, you tell me. Just read that statement and tell me. First, yeah. First, we need to expand all compound assignment operators. Expand all compound assignment operators. Here we have plus y plus. Okay. 
you have to place this six plus six by three in bracket, right? Uh, tell me now. Then next, replace all variables by their values. Uh, replace y replace with one, y plus plus one plus plus increase by two, and next y equal to y value how much one? Uh, then I told you you must not replace this y. What I told you, if any bracket is there until the variable in this bracket is replaced with the values, we must not replace the variable value, right? So until this bracket is not completed, you should not go for next. So now we have to evaluate this statement. First six by three, how much? Two, right? And two plus one, three. And the next three is stored here. And, sorry, six by, then, correct only now? Any mistake I committed? Oh, okay, okay. Here, Y value 2, no? Sorry, sorry. I didn't notice. Ah, let me read. Now tell me what? what y first, Y value, Y replace with 1, and Y plus plus, substitute 1, and increase 2. And here, y value 2 substituted, and then evaluated 2, and then 2 plus 2, 4, 4 is stored in y and substituted here, 4, okay, then y replaced with 4, and then, uh, then 1 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 4, okay. Uh, 4 minus 4, 0. 0 plus 4, 4. Is it clear? So, is our evaluation process right now? So all the people expression understood, okay? Next, moving to the next point. Uh, tell me, again, I'm replacing y with one. Uh, tell me, what is the output of this expression? Did you notice any change I did? Did you notice any change I did here? From the previous expression to here, did I do any changes? <coughs> Is it same expression as before one or any change? Same expression, no? Huh? Yeah, I have used comparison. Here only statement I have placed, and here I use comparison. Tell me, uh, what is the value is coming from here? First we have to place evaluation, right? Uh, now come on quickly, tell me. What is the value of y? One here, one placed, and here y, y equal y plus and here y value 2 okay and then here also y value 2 no 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 one second here y value as it is there the next uh, 6 by 2 6 by 3 2 next 4 y value is 4 and next y value 4 substituted and then this entire expression replace with 4. Okay. Then here, y minus 3. Uh, y value, 4. 4 minus 3, 1. y value, 1.
then 4 equal to equal to 1, false. So what the y value now? 4 or 1? We should get output. We should get output 1 here. Let's see. False, 1 should come. Yeah, our output is correct. So the way we are answering is correct. Wonderful. And then next expression, shall we try? Next expression. What the difference from previous expression to this expression? I hope I no need to repeat this statement again. You already by hearted. Okay. Uh, what the next statement? Y plus 2 plus Y plus plus. What I did? Previously, I place Y outside. I make this compound assignment operator as a one expression. But now I am bringing it into bracket. This entire expression I placed as a one statement. Ambolo, what is the difference between previous statement and this statement? I will also make it as a two statements. Okay. Let me make it as a two statements for better understanding so that you will have clarity on the subject. You will understand how to evaluate. See, this type of complicated expressions, if you evaluate, then Java program become easy to you, right? Huh, tell me now. Y plus 2 plus Y plus plus. How, how to evaluate this statement now? First, replace variables with value 1. And this is 1. And uh, value 2. And then Y plus. Uh, listen carefully. Bracket must apply to 6 by 3 now. Complete expression. This complete expression must place in the bracket. And then Y value how much? Y value 2. Uh, tell me. Here, I should also place this Y also. Replace with 2. Are you catching my point? Both y values should replace with three because both are under same bracket only. Uh, then next, uh, now, which operator first executed? This bracket should execute, right? And tell me. Um, then 6 by 3, first, this bracket is first executing, right? 6 by 3, what the value? 2. And then 2 plus 2, 4. And then 4 plus 2, 6. 6 copying into y. Now here, 6 should come, right? And then now this entire value replace with 4, uh, 4 minus 6, minus 2 should come. Let's see. Output result is minus 2, y value is 6. Will you get minus 2, 6 or not? Let us see. Now. Somewhere compiler throwing error, I have to comment these statements. Control 1 compile, control minus 2, 6. Okay. Okay, nice, 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 nice. All you people are getting same answer. Huh? All are you getting same answer? Next. Now, how to evaluate this expression? How we are got? How did you get false? Are you ready? Now, first statement. First, this is a y again. Again, quickly, I will do it. So please don't get a, a what you call a boring. Um, again, you are doing a sir. Okay, don't get boring. And now, one because there is a value change in the y now. Here, one replace with the two. And next y plus and uh, then tell me bracket to this one uh, tell me here y replace with 2 6 and here also 2 will be there and the next statement 6 by 3 6 by 3 2 and uh, next uh, 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 4 next uh, 6 okay next uh, 6 and y variable value, 6. And then next, 4. All this plus operates executed, 4. 4 minus 6, minus 2. Right? And then evaluate, OK, y minus, y minus 3. And then y value how much? 6. 6 minus 3, 3. Copy, 3. Okay, y value how much will come? 3. And minus 2 equal to equal to 3, false. So this is how you have to practice. So don't try to use your eyes. 
since operator chapter starting onwards i am telling don't use your eyes just follow writing all the statements fast fast okay so if you are keep on practicing okay you can go for some shortcuts no problem uh then last still last two different expressions i given uh, tell me what happened Uh, is the statement compiled or not? Is this expression compiled or not? This expression not compiled. Why? Why? Just common sense. Why less than three? Okay, for less than operator. For lesser than operator. Okay. Uh, first, you need to know how many operators are there. Which operators are first executing? You have to know. Okay, we have written bracket here. This bracket. In this bracket, first evaluating operator is what plus y plus three int greater than int. Okay, this is compatible. Generate value is what boolean. Like compiler, if you work, it generates what boolean. Okay. Uh, then next. Uh, then available operator is what less. This is less than. Next, it is executed boolean. Okay, boolean equal to equal to boolean boolean uh, boolean not equal to y. Okay, so now not equal to y here compiler finding incompatible data types. So that's why compiler will throw error. So you have to do compiler evaluation first. After compiler evaluation, then you have to think about JVM. Compiler throwing error incompatible types. Incompatible types, what boolean and int. Okay. So here the y value is throwing error. Then what the solution to this problem? I'm commenting this statement. What the solution to this problem? Tell me. What the solution to this problem? You have to use operator precedence. Y equal to seven if I place in bracket. Now, now any 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 difference will come? Yes. Okay. And now tell me which bracket first executed? This is first executed, result generated, boolean, wonderful. Uh, next, this is a lesser relation operator, next executed, boolean. Uh, the next, double equal to, okay, next, uh, one second, one second, one second. Next, this bracket executed, what will you get? Boolean, okay. Then relational operator, bracket now, first bracket should execute, no? Uh, let me write step by step. Uh, now, this expression first, it is executed, boolean. Uh, the next uh, it is executed next bracket executed boolean okay next relational operator executed boolean next double equal to operator executed boolean not equal to operator is executed not equal to operator executed okay boolean is allowed to not equal to operator final result is coming what boolean so compiler will work with the types so finally it found uh, this expression is valid values are generated compile successfully okay uh, then next what the result jvm come into picture what jvm will work jvm will work with values uh, tell me why what the value of y one 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 uh, tell me i don't have any variables here Right until this bracket execution completed, this variable not replaced. Okay, all right. All these variables are replaced. Okay, now you can substitute one here. Okay, then next. Uh, now operator precedence is bracket executed first. One plus three four. Four greater than nine false. Okay, then here this bracket this bracket executed. Next bracket should execute. One equal to equal to seven false. Then next. Relational operator executed one less than or equals to three false and the next double equal to not equal to executed false equal equal to false true true not equal to false false. Okay, this is how evaluated expression evaluated. So by looking at this expression, if you follow our operator precedence and associativity. Operator precedence and associativity by following variable replacement, assignment operator replacing if you work, then you will get correct answer. So if you follow Bodmas rule, okay, it will not work in Java. Remember, don't follow Bodmas rule. Uh, this is a true now, one less than three, true, yeah.
true equal to equal to false 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 not equal to false false yeah 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 thank you thank you thank you one less than 3 false false equal to equal to false true true not equal to false yeah one less than 3 less than or equals to 3 true true equal to equal to false 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 not equal to false false right control one compile control two we got output false y value any change in y value any change no change because we didn't do any assignment operation print ln of what you right y you need to practice and you need to pay attention while solving these questions okay now so i hope not equal to operator equality operator working combination with other data types ali comfortable i hope all these 10 points we completed with equality operator quickly let us revise equality operator related all points first how many operators and what are they what is the use of those operators okay how many operators two what are they double equal to not equal to. what is the use of those operators used for comparing given values either to know equal or not equal double equal to operator returns true if both values are same not equal to operator returns false if they are same okay next type of operator binary operator takes take two operands what are the allowed operands okay allowed operands are either literal or variable or expression or method call what type of operands are allowed all data types are allowed complete okay uh, primitive data types and reference data types everything is allowed but they should be compatible next what the result type coming out from this uh, oper uh, result coming out from this expression double equal to not equal to will return boolean boolean result okay input can be operands can be any type but the result is boolean next where, where are we allowed to place its expression you can place only as a variable assignment statement or as a argument or as a return value or as a if and while loop condition you cannot place uh, the statement directly as a single statement you cannot place E equality operator expression as a single statement next operators precedence and associativity uh, what the operator precedence double equal to operator not equal to operator having same precedence whichever coming first that will be executed associativity left to right first left operand first executed then right operand executed finally result is generated next operators usage in combination with other operators <clears throat> when you use double equal to operator in combination with other operators okay first which operator executed unary operators are executed and the next addition operator and then next arithmetic operators are executed and then shift operators executed relational operators and then equality operators are executed okay already we have verified these are test cases in the program just now right so these are the points about equality operators we have completed already comfortable If you have any questions please ask